Hi, everybody. Those of you who don't know me, my name is Paul Rabinowitz, and I am speaking you speaking to you today from lovely Portland, Oregon. Uh, my wife Megan and I are out here uh, in preparation for tomorrow, which is the um, film festival, the Oregon Short Film Festival, and I have two films in the festival. And uh, we hope that um, those films will come in as winners in the category uh, of experimental short films. Uh, both the films, The Lines in Between, uh, directed by uh, Georgia Usborne, starring Ju Georgia Usborne and Julia Desenza with music by Miranda, uh, are inspired by four of the poems that are in the book uh, that I'll be speaking about in a minute called Truth, Love, and the Lines in Between. And the other film directed by Matilda Mackey with music by Amy Viner called Confessional uh, is also inspired by one single poem uh, from uh, the book Truth, Love, and the Lines in Between. Um, I am looking at, or I should say there's a large clock behind me, uh, which is the wrong time. And then I have another clock here, uh, which is also the wrong time. But then again, uh, it is Portland. Uh, but what is definitely Oregon is uh, this beautiful Pinot Noir um, from the Willamette Valley. And you can see right here on the bottle, the Willamette Valley, uh, just south of uh, Portland, is one of the most beautiful wine regions uh, in all of the United States. And they do some great Pinot Noirs there. And that's what I'm having here with you now. Um, until July 21st, Finishing Line Press, the publishers of Truth, Love, and the Lines in Between, my first book of poetry, is offering a discount during what they call pre-sale uh, period. Pre-sale periods are important to writers as it determines how many books the publisher uh, will ultimately print in advance. And that's important for me as I go out on the road and start to uh, talk about my book, read from my book. And it's also, of course, important uh, for the publisher, again, so they know how many books to print in advance. Um, some of you um, would prefer to buy the book in person. I have a book launch coming up on November 19th at Madison, uh, at the Madison Community Arts Center. And if you come to the book launch, I'll be happy to sign it uh, in person. And also you can buy it um, online. Uh, you can also buy it at the publishers at Finishing Line Press at finishinglinepress.com. And when the search bar comes us up, just search for Paul Rabinowitz, just put in Paul Rabinowitz, and that'll take you to the book. And again, you can purchase it before July uh, 22nd. Um, and before July 22nd, we'll, we'll be in the pre-sale. Uh, you'll get a pre-sale discount after July 22nd. I should say uh, July 21st. So July 21st is the end. Midnight is the end of the pre-sale period. So if you buy the book after July 21st, um, there's um, an additional fee. Uh, not a lot, but still you're better off uh, if you want to uh, take advantage of the discount to order it before uh, July 21st. Uh, today, as I mentioned, I'm in Portland, Oregon, and uh, my films tomorrow um, are based on two poems that I'm going to read for you uh, right now. One is called Dali, and that is in or inspired, uh, partially uh, inspires, inspired the work, uh, The Lines in Between. So I'm going to read that to you first, and that is based on the relationship between Dali and his muse, uh, Yala. And then the other poem I'll read for you today is called The Wish. Uh, and The Wish I wrote a few years ago uh, and then revised it uh, for this collection. So once again, uh, before I read you the two short poems, I want to mention that uh, the pre-sale period ends July 21st. If you'd like to purchase the book, go on to uh, the website of Finishing Line Press, finishinglinepress.com, and um, hopefully you'll purchase the book then. If not, you can purchase it afterwards or come to the book launch uh, on November 19th. You'll all be getting uh, information about that in the coming weeks. 
Dali. I had the most interesting dream last night about a woman who dressed like Salvador Dali and a man who dressed like his muse, Gala. Each impression of the other fell for the impression of the other, but when their true selves were revealed, the man who dressed as Gala decided to borrow the clothes from the woman who dressed as Dali. The woman was so moved, she dressed in the clothes of his muse, Gala, and together they decided to photograph each other with an old camera that had no film. Yet the idea of the photo that never came to be became the idea for a novel that was never written. As he removed his elegant tie, setting it on the waxed end of her mustache. The Wish. What if I could paint like you, piercing light through darkening skies? If I could weave stories by blending chapters about love and discontent? What if I stood naked and sang love songs that pry hearts open like the edge of a knife? I wouldn't struggle with the truth. No need for crayons whose tips are flat from making rainbows. I could delete my tired sentences with dubious meanings, be free of burden. Then, perhaps, you would look at me. Thank you all for taking a few minutes to listen. And hopefully I'll see you at the book launch. Be well and take care.